Former Vice President Mike Pence and Second Lady Karen Pence did attend today's inauguration ceremonies at the Capitol. You see them there. The former Indiana governor then made his way home back to Columbus, Indiana. Fox 59's Mike Sullivan was there as the plane touched down in the Hoosier State. It was an emotional return for the Hoosier who promised his wife Karen Pence they would soon move back to the state. In his speech, it was about reflection. My brother, your son, Mike Pence. Back home again in Indiana, we hear it so often. Well, hello, Indiana. For former Vice President Mike Pence, today was about a return to reality after four years of the surreal. So far, I haven't seen one face that I haven't known for years. His speech today was about appreciating every moment of his service, right from his first step toward the stage. Baby, it's, all right now. it certainly began the instant he entered the plane. We have a tradition on Air Force Two. We always invite someone to sit in the jump seat. Any guests? In the cockpit. It's the best view from the plane. In the jump seat today was Mike. His wife calling it an attempt to gain perspective. I will always be proud to have served in an administration that came alongside doctors and nurses and first responders. Only today was his moment, even as he congratulated President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris on theirs, and also thanked his boss for the opportunity to serve. Let me also take a moment to say thank you to President Donald Trump and Melania for all they have done to make America great again. So what is next for the former VP? Not even his brother, Congressman Greg Pence, is quite sure. You know, I think he was, he was busy trying to do the right thing out in Washington, which I think he absolutely did. He's a hero for what he did, uh, but I don't think he's really looked forward. Pence's mother surely has. Mom called me yesterday and she said, said she's proud of me telling her son he put her on the map. I said, Mom, it's actually the other way around. Congressman Greg Pence did say that his brother will be involved during this transition of power. We just don't know in what capacity. In Columbus, I'm Mike Sullivan, Fox 59 News.